Hi guys, welcome to my SL Dev Code YouTube channel. I am Salinder. Welcome back with new tutorial series. So this is the PHP tutorials and project video series. In this video series, I am going to talk about PHP tutorials and PHP project. In this video, I am going to talk about how to create user registration form using pure PHP. So the technologies that we are going to use either we follow in PHP, MySQL, Bootstrap and we can use jQuery and also I will put all the useful links below my video description. I mean you can download the source code of this video from my given github repository. All the links available in my video description. Let's get to start the video. Now I am going to just create project folder inside the vamp64 folder. Go to C drive and select vamp64 folder and go to ww folder and create to a project folder inside this ww folder. I just give project name SL do code reg. Now I will open the sublime text implement my PHP registration application. Go to file and select open folder. Now you can select your project folder which you create previously. Okay. After that you have to create registration.php and config.php files. You can create those files easily following my steps. So when you are creating your files you have to select your save file types correctly. Now I am going to create my registration form. If you use sublime text, you can just type in HTML and hit tab key your keyboard. My title is user registration in PHP. So after that we will define our registration form. So I will use very basic registration form here. So in here I use bootstrap library for frontend. So you can follow my steps to design your registration form. So in here I mention user, first name, last name, email, contact number, country and password. So you before run the application, you should run the VAMP server. So one main thing you have to remember, that main thing is this VAMP server icon must be green color when you are open VAMP server, otherwise your VAMP server is not working properly. So in here I add sign up button to my registration form. So if you done with that let's check our registration.php file in your browser and type here localhost slash sldevcodereg it means your project name slash registration.php So this is the very basic registration form. Now I am going to download bootstrap file into my computer. I will put these links in my video description. So I click this download button. So we have few options here. In here I will install compile CSS and JS. After downloading, I extract this and go to inside this bootstrap folder and copy these CSS and JS files and paste it to my project folder. Now I will link CSS files. 
so css slash so in here i select bootstrap.min.css file after that i can check it go to my browser and refresh my page okay css are working fine so let's try to design my registration form using bootstrap Right, okay. Now I will check again my registration form. Go to my browser and refresh it. Yes, it's fine. I think this form must be ex expanded in whole browser. I will change it now. Yes, now it's fine. Working nicely. Now I will add few CSS part to design my form. Now I am going to get the values coming from the registration form. Let's do it. First come in first name. I will do it same for the other fields. So now let's try to display all the values what user have submitted the form. Finally save the registration form and go back to the browser and refresh. So let's try to put some values here and sign up. Okay, so we have here values. So it is display successfully the values coming from the form. So in here I am going to create database. Click new to create database. I just give db name user accounts and create. So my table name is users and I will give 7 number of columns for my table. Now I will fill my table.
now I am going to config my PHP file. So let's open my config.php file and connect my database for my PHP code. Now I will define three variables which is db user, which is root, and db password equal empty and db name equal user accounts. Now I want to add this db object to registration.php file. Let's include the config.php into this file. So require once inside brackets config.php. Now I will show you the line by line my code. So this is the registration.php file. You can see it now. So this is the config.php file. So let's run the code and sign up this form. Now I will fill this form and click sign up button. You can see this message which is data saved successfully. So let's check database PHP my admin. Yes, now you can see the saved data. Now you have successfully created the registration form using PHP and MySQL. If you have any questions regarding this video, make a comment and ask. So if you like my videos, click in the like button and share my videos. Finally, I like to say don't forget to click subscribe button to get latest content from my channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys.